dude. We got a new, we got a new super girl. Nerds are pissed for some reason. I think she's fine. I think she's fine in more ways than one. Like, she's pretty fine. Um, why are we getting a new super girl? I think it's for the movies. For the new dude, we don't even know where it's for Flash, I think. And, um, she's a you know, I don't see a problem with her. A lot of people are seeing a problem with her, and let me tell you why what the problem is. Mm. The fact that you're not making it about Supergirl, you're not making it about about Supergirl. You're not making it about even the movie. You're, this is the same BS that happens all the time. And it's like, if you just have this girl show up, like dye your hair, be Supergirl and shut the hell up, we're fine. That's all you need. But no, even before, you know, just the announcement is making it about her being like Colombian or something. And that's the thing that it's pissing off the nerds. To be honest, I don't I don't care. I can give less of a crap, you know, if she's any any way she is, you know. As long as she could kind of look like the character. Dye her hair blonde and just make her be Supergirl. Easy as that, dude. I mean, I, you know, I have a thing for brunettes. So I wouldn't mind her being a brunette. But I know that that's not the way she's in the comics. Or maybe maybe there's a Burnett Supergirl somewhere. But I don't know, dude. It's just, it is what it is. People people be getting mad. People be tripping. And I understand why, dude. It's, you know, this is the first thing y'all go to. And this is from her, too. Look, this is what's pissing people off. And I'm going to tell you right here. This is, I'm going to show you right here. Hold on. Let me new at this. Right here. This is from Boston.com. It's like the first article I found. So I'm not even quote, quoting the article. I'm quoting her Instagram post where she says, This hasn't fully hit me. I'm starting to cry as I type this because I know it's me in that video. I still can't believe it. Okay, that's, you know, whatever. Like, if I was an actor, I'd be stoked too. Hey, you're you're getting work. I've never heard of this girl. So I think she was in the quotes right here. She was in um, what was she in? The Young and the Restless. You know, that's like the type of shit you watch when you're a kid and you have to stay home sick from school. So like, um, and that was before the internet. So I guess I think I don't think kids now know the struggle of like when you had to stay home and you had to watch The Price Is Right and all these freaking um. These freaking um, soap opera shows that, like, I don't know, who, who the hell watches those? I don't know, man. Where was I? Okay, yeah, this is what this is what's going to piss people off. And I'm going to tell you that. Like, I, I don't care, but it gets to me, too. Una Latina superhéroe. ¿En qué planeta? Pues en este planeta. Qué alegría, qué orgullo. Mamá, gracias por tu esfuerzo. Por criarme solita y con mucho amor. Te adoro con todo lo que tengo. Eres un ejemplo de superhéroe. This is pretty much just saying a Latin superhero and what planet? Well, in this planet. Which I'm already offended because she says she didn't use the term Latin X. Which means that she's actual she's an actual Latina because none of us use that shit. And it's like you don't see, I don't know, maybe there's another post. No, that's just her and her her little brother, Bub. Uh, like, there ain't no post of her actually saying, like, oh, I've been a fan of this character for so long. Or, like, not even a shout-out to Supergirl. It's just about her being Hispanic. And it's, and there's no problem with that, dude, but that's the thing. Like, you're pissing people off. Like, I don't know who works these marketing campaigns. Like, I would definitely be like, you know what? Let's just leave the whole race thing out of it. Um, because now you're making it about being her being like, you're even taking away from her, her acting chops. 
to be honest. Like, if I was an actor, I'd be like, shit, man, like, yeah, that's fine, but could you make it about me actually being me? <laughs> about me actually being a good actor? But, I mean, what else? what can you say? I mean, like, she worked in The Young and the Restless. That was about, that's her other acting career. Shit, I'd make it about that, dude. And why are we pretending she's the first Latina superhero? Wasn't that Jessica Alba? Jessica Alba was like in Fantastic Four, right? And she was like the first Mexican super. They just dyed her hair blonde. And she was there. And she was the first Mexican superhero. And nobody knew that. I don't even think Jessica Alba knew she was Mexican when she was doing that either. And they did it. It was. I liked that movie. It was a fun, dumb movie. It was a. It, it was what a superhero movie should be. To be honest, hate me all you want, dude. It was just like, go and watch some mindless fun. We didn't take heroes so lot so um seriously, trying to make statements and shit like that. It was just you know Jessica Alba, a blonde Jessica Alba, doing what heroes do, and you didn't see anything. At least I don't remember seeing anything about her like. Making it all about her being the first Latina. This girl, this girl probably doesn't remember Jessica Alba even being a thing. How old is she? Like 20, hold on. 25, I think. Twenty-five. I read it somewhere. Take my word for it. Oh yeah. The beginning of the article. Boston native Sasha Cali is going from soap opera to superhero. Actress 25. And she'll be in The Flash. Dude, of course. Dude, to The Flash. Dude, that's also a movie I don't think people are that stoked about. Like, nobody likes that, dude. I don't like the dude. He's fucking annoying. I mean, she's not bad looking, dude. And, like, she's... Like, look, you put me in a freaking super, pump me up with steroids and put me in a superhero suit. They're like, that's like super, super nacho or some shit. I'm like Mexican as hell. Her, she's like pretty fair skin. And I could see it, dude. If they die, just dye her hair blonde and then you'll, you'll be all right. And it's not about race. It's about just keeping her looking like the freaking character. I just dye her hair blonde and like even Henry Cavill doesn't even look white white like cause she's supposed to be from that same universe and that Superman right so like even he don't look that white man he looks like I mean there are white Mexicans there are white Latinos out there dude so like don't like even people tripping out about it is like the chill we come in all colors you know and her she's she's pretty fair skin I think she'll pull it off. As long as the marketing gets their heads out of the rear end and don't make it about something that's not the movie, make it about, first of all, tell us what I think, what, um, what comic storyline, I guess you'll be making it about, which is Flashpoint, I think. I don't know. I'm not a comic buff, but I mean, I'm pretty sure Supergirl is in it and, um, have her in costume and and just don't make it about race dude like i'm the most mellow person out there and even now now i'm making videos about this shit because that's all you hear about dude that's all you freaking hear about and like it's just calling it out how it is dude look at her she's a very attractive young woman now we could have gotten someone worse like they could have just gone for the whole body positivity supergirl and, and just have her be a, which, I mean, ain't nothing wrong with that. I mean, you like, you like, chub, you know, chubby girls. It's, it's on you, dude. I mean, it, it, hey, different strokes for different folks, right? But um, at least she looks like she could pull it off as being a superhero, as being Supergirl. They might have her, like, hit the gym a little bit, but um, dye her hair blonde. Or, like, just pull a Jessica Alba on her, dude. Just have her be, you know. Kara and just have her be, you know, don't have her wear like a sombrero on set or some shit like that, dude. And don't have her drop like 
I don't know. I wouldn't put it past them. I mean, that's the flavor of the month to, you know, get lucrative off people like me, you know, off color people, off black people, anything. That's what everybody's talking about. I mean, it's like I'm like I say, I'm not against being nice to each other, but I mean, and this isn't I'm not I'm not about to make this video about about a political statement, but I'm just going to tell you this. As long as we keep on, you know, ourselves putting ourselves in, in these little boxes and just reminding ourselves that you know something that hadn't mattered in a long time like i mentioned dude we had jessica alba in the what was it the early 2000s be fantastic for sue storm and nobody cared and um it's like we're going backwards now with it it's like we're pretending that there wasn't any um you know, that that we weren't getting over that issue. You know, that somebody brought it back and now it's all about that. And um yeah, dude, as long as as long as we don't just um start just seeing, you know, just putting those kind of things aside. I mean people say she's she may you know, they're like, yeah, she was a qualified one to play it. Well, then just leave it as that, dude. Why you got to make it about like, oh, yeah, she was qualified because she's a panic. Just put it. She was qualified because she's a good actress. That's it. You know, and the, you know, the homegirl better start posting Supergirl stuff. That's one thing that I got to give it to some of these actors is that they'll start posting like, dude, when Ryan Reynolds was Deadpool, that's all he would be. He posted Deadpool, posted Deadpool, posted Deadpool. Even when he was Detective Pikachu, he posted Pokemon, he posted Detective Pikachu. And that's what I want this girl. I want this girl to look like she's passionate about this and not just like, hey, I'm using this movie to further my career. And just be passionate about it. You know, the, that's the thing that you see with Robert Downey Jr. That's the thing that you see with, um, what was his face? Um, fuck. Um, Boseman, Chadwick Boseman before, you know, before he passed, these people were, were the character. And if this girl is willing to, to put, go all in, you know, balls in, be the character, be Supergirl at a point where, you know, you see this a lot in DC movies where they're recast after recast after recast. I think the only one that you could say that she is the character would be Harley Quinn and you know that you see well i can't see them recast this chick she totally owns this character and um because yeah dude uh, i don't know all the other and maybe gal gadot as wonder woman but um yeah dude if if this girl proves herself to be more than a race swap and proves herself that look i'm gonna dye my hair blonde I'm going to study the character. I'm going to become Supergirl and just own that shit. There's no problem. But as long as they make it, it comes off lazy to begin with. As long as they make it about, look, I'm Latino. I am. And there's nothing wrong with embracing your heritage. But if you put that ahead of it, you know, I'm just warning you, dude. You're going to be getting hate. You're going to be getting people who are not going to respect you as an actress and as a character. You might even be getting people boycotting your movie. And like I say, there's nothing wrong with this. She thanks her mom, which is a beautiful thing, dude. Like props to her mom. She raised a successful young woman. But leave it at that. Leave it at that. Once you start going and just make it obvious that you maybe you just want to use this to further your career, that's where you're going to have a problem. When you're just, when you, if she doesn't show the passion, if she doesn't show that she's willing to be, you know, own Supergirl and be the Supergirl and, you know, I better see this girl like posting herself reading comics. I better see this girl like wearing Supergirl shirts, like, you know, be involved in it. Don't make it just about a race swap and you'll be fine. And a lot of these people, instead of like, 
talking shit, calling them basement dwellers, um, freaking, what's that other, incels, um, nerds, whatever. Instead of that shit, prove them wrong. Get your shit together. Read a book. Be, be, be the supergirl. Embrace it. Because, yeah, man. I could, I, honestly, dude, I could see her. I could see her just blonde, and that's it. Just like an Alba style, like I keep saying. Like, you got some Lily White Supergirls, like, and they were awesome. As a matter of fact, I liked the Smallville chick before this girl, before, um, what's her face? Melinda something, the, the one from the show. You know, uh, to me, that was a perfect Supergirl. And this girl kind of looks like her. In a way, like the Mex like the Latino version of her, twenty five year old was picked from more than four hundred actresses who auditioned. And I can guarantee you, she was probably like that was probably like three hundred seventy five white girls and like twenty five Mexican and and you know like ten Mexicans and fifteen black chicks auditioning for that. But um, yeah, dude, on that shit. Dye your hair blonde, make it about Supergirl, make it about the movie, ignore the rest of the bullshit. And this is from the marketing team, not even from her, because I wouldn't blame her. Because, like, these actors, people, as we learned from the Gina Carano incident, they, they don't, they're not allowed to think, to, 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 to think for themselves. So that's some dumbass publicist or some dumbass marketing team that if in case she starts going full, like, race baiting on us... It's not, I don't think it's on her. We shouldn't put it on her. It's going to be Warner Brothers. It's going to be Time Warner. It's going to be, you know, the director. It's not going to be her who pulls the race baiting bullshit. So I hope she doesn't get, like, any hate. And, like, if we got issues, we got to hit up Warner Brothers. We got to hit up other people, not her. And, like, I hope, I wish nothing for the best for her. Hopefully she could prove the hate, the haters wrong. Hopefully she could prove people like me wrong. Well, I'm not hating, but, you know, I'm just pointing out the situation. And um, best of luck, and I'll see you guys on the next one.